Alright, hey guys, what's up? Uh, so this is a tutorial on how to make uh, glowing text on uh, Paint.net. Uh, this can be used for multiple things like uh, like Facebook or social media or even custom thumbnails to make your stuff look cool. Um, this, this is kind of a uh, long process, so it may take a while. Uh, you kind of have to debate if it's worth it or not. Um, most of the time it looks pretty darn cool though, and I'd really recommend it. So we're going to do some basic things here, and also uh, I'll show you how to do it, and uh, things you can make with it. Alright, so first let's uh, get a little bit bigger of an image here. Uh, this is pretty small, this is like 800 by 600. So let's do 1280 by 720, so 720p basically. Uh, pretty decent resolution. This will take like four to five megs on your computer. Paint.net has a lot of usage for pictures because they're really high end. Next thing, if you want to put a background in, which we're going to do, let's just get rid of this thing here and then put some fire in real quick. And I'm using a bunch of plugins here. It's like uh, Mega Effects, whatever it's called. It's got like a thousand plugins. Majorly bogs down your paint.net though, but it's mostly worth it. Okay, there we go. And next, let's add some lens flare. We're just doing this quickly to just make it look better. All right. So next, we want to add a layer, and then you want to choose your text. So let's get our text bar out. Uh, make sure to choose the correct size as well, and I'll teach you some other tricks to make your text better. So let's use a cool font I know of called Infected. Sounds like a virus, doesn't it? But it actually isn't. Uh, so let's type my username like Big Granny. Uh, does it support zeros? Oh, yes, it does. Okay. So this is a little bit long, in my opinion. So let's just do Big Granny. So as you can see, it's a little bit hard to see in our background. So to fix that issue, what we do is go to Effects. But again, this is with the plugins, outline, and then you choose whatever color you want. I'm just going to do white, and then save. And now for the glowing part, we make a new layer, get our paintbrush out. And if you have a mouse that's able to lower the DPI, I'd recommend doing that and zoom in pretty bad or pretty sharply. That way we can get a nice accurate view. And choose the size that is appropriate for the size of the text. Um, let's go down to 15 actually. So next what we want to do is choose a color. So let's say I want to make the B a red. So we're just going to make this red right here. And then you can also do shading and stuff too. Um, we're not going to worry about that. This sort of wiggly stuff <laughs> um, right there. Uh, so next, let's do like a random color like yellow. So mix in with like an orange, it'll look really cool. Um, orange and red with the glowing effect both appear as red though. They might be just me though. So we go around here. Basically, you just want to outline your text and get it prepared to do the actual effect. I don't believe you need a plugin to actually do this because it's glow and then also Gaussian blur, whatever it's called, um, which is already built into paint.net, I believe. So for this extra stuff I did, you, it's not really necessary. It's kind of up to you. So next let's do a purple. I'm kind of going order in order with the colors, but you know, it's still kind of random. So we want to do like a hot pink next. That one's probably not going to look as good, but we'll see. Uh, let's do a red. And let's do a really random color such as green, because green looks cool in the glowing effect. I also like the blue. Alright, so now that we have that done, make sure to zoom out. Make sure it's nice and correct and stuff. And what we want to do now is go to effects. You can either glow this first, or you can... Uh, uh, what do you call it uh, blur it first or glow and we're just going to add a glow to it so as you can see it's got a glowy effect to it 
Next, what we want to do is blares, and then Gaussian blur. I may be pronouncing that completely wrong, but that's what it is. And then go up until you are set aside with your glow. Uh, let's go to 30. Just try 35. 40. Ooh. Dang, that looks nice. Let's go down to 45, make it more saturated. So let's say, you know, you don't want these colors as bright. They're kind of bright. You don't really like them. You want them to be a bit less saturated, stuff like that. Um, what you want to do is go to uh, Layer Properties and then turn down your old capacity to make it transparent. And then you can go down like that so you can have like a nice soft glow of different colors and then you can go like that with it. But we're just going to keep it at max. Um, you can also adjust that for it. Whoa! I just noticed what I did. See how um, it matches the outline of the text? Dang, guys. I didn't know. I just found that out. I just was just kind of messing around with that. But if you want to do it with your outlines, uh, it doesn't show up with a black color of the text when you do multiply. That looks pretty sick. So additive, I believe that's like brighter. Oh, that one looks cool. So color dot, oh, ew. That one's, ugh. I don't really like that one. Some of these do get messed up a bit. Normal and glow are pretty much the same, except it covers like a certain layer. Overlay, meh. Difference, opposite colors, that doesn't really look that good. Yeah, some of these don't look that great. But it's kind of up to you, whatever you want to use. So that's that, right there. Um, so if you want to move our text, wait, uh, we don't want to move our text around because then we have to move our glow. So that's pretty much it sums it up for you guys. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you out. Sorry if I added some extra stuff in here that I shouldn't have. I just wanted to make this look cool. Uh, I'm really impressed with what I did right here. Uh, this is one of the best ones I did actually. Um, leave this video a like if you liked it. Dislike it if you don't like it. Uh, also leave a comment if you like and subscribe to my channel and also check out my other videos. I have a couple more paint.net tutorials if you guys would like that. Um, and if you like to leave more information in the comments like uh, advice or information on how to make this better or help people out, you're welcome to do that. They're open for anything. And uh, I'd like to see what you guys create too. Uh, again, this can help you create like cool custom thumbnails for YouTube and social media. Uh, use them for like cover photos. Those are pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that'll be pretty much it. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.